Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Except today, we're not talking about crochet. I feel like I've said that in most of my last few videos, but I do, like I've said before, I hope to get it back in gear uh, soon. Uh, just soon. I don't know when. But anyway, um, just wanted to pop on real quick and tell y'all that, um, or give y'all an update on what's going on with me. Um, as most of you know that follow me or have, you know, been around me long enough, you know my sidekick and my, my main man. Goliath was diagnosed with heartworms back I don't even remember when last year sometime end of last year first of this year and uh, the vet would not treat him because he was older and then um, she did x-rays and everything and decided to uh, not treat him because his heart was already enlarged just due to age not necessarily the heartworms but um, so she was giving him LASIK and to keep fluid down and something else. It was a I can't remember. Anyway, she he was taking two heart medicines that was making him go to the bathroom more. He uh, he didn't seem to be uh, any different. As far as you know, he would cough every now and then and um, stuff, but they said that that LASIK would help. And I know with mama taking it, you know, it, it keeps fluid off of everything. It keeps all the, everything down. But um, so he was taking that and taking that, and it was all good and stuff. And then I made the video in June, I think, 1st of June, uh, from the cemetery, and I think that was the last true podcast I made. Um And I said then that, please excuse me, I've tried a dozen or 20 times to make this video, and it's no easier either time. Um, so I had said in that video that unless he was declining in, um, quality of life and everything and or suffering that I wasn't gonna start trying to make a decision on to have him uh, you know have the doc make his uh, run over the rainbow bridge any easier but and he didn't he was uh, still playing and loving and cuddly and stealing them covers from me and everything and then whew, I came home from work on July uh, June 25th it was a Friday to find him asleep on the couch and he didn't rise you know he got to where he couldn't hear so he didn't get up but there were two or three noises that I could make and sometimes he would feel the, I guess, feel the vibration of my truck in the air. Somehow, you know, dogs and their things, their sensitive uh, senses. Uh, so I made these couple of noises and everything. And I looked around and he was laying on his couch, just asleep, just all cute as ever. And had his arms, his legs crossed. Um, but after trying to call him a few times, I, I realized he, he was not breathing. So, um, so it was on June 25th, 2021 that he went to run with the rest. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> That's almost two months ago. June 25th. He went to run with the rest of the pit crew over the Rainbow Bridge. He joined his girl, Luna. 
he and Luna were the parents to our other boys, Thor and Zeus. And then one of my friends has uh, the other one that I know of. Zeus was the firstborn. Rock, which is one of my friends, has him. And then Thor was the thirdborn. Um, and at some point I have pictures I'll put up of the whole pit crew. We called them our pit crew because they were. And uh, Luna passed away last year. Uh, but Goliath outlasted all of them. Big Daddy G. He was 14 years old. Just turned 14 in March. And like I said, this has been almost two months ago. And it still just kills me because he was the only one here with me in this house for seven years. And he was my shadow. I get a little upset with him when he was, um, he was so excited to see me when I come in every day, every day, not just when he wanted to. <laughs> you know how humans are. They just love you when they want to. Uh, that was terrible. Sorry. Um, or when it's convenient for them. <laughs> he loved me every day up until the last day. That morning, the only thing I can remember was him whimpering a little bit when I left. And he never did that. But I worried about that all day long. And then when I got home, like I said, it, it, he didn't suffer. He wasn't, he was just as peaceful as he ever was laying on the couch with his little legs crossed just like he always did until he heard me and then he would get up and come see me but anyway um i've heard him a couple of times rattling his uh harness <clears throat> and it's just really really hard y'all know how much i love that boy and I know how much several of you loved him. And I'm sorry that I have not already told you. But as silly as it sounds, I was trying to get all the events we were doing over. And then a couple of people have been sick. I didn't want to further worry them. Insert lame excuse here. But mostly because I have not been able to say it out of my mouth without this without just totally breaking down. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those of you that I know loved him and that have been asking about him. And uh, there was only one, well, there was one that I guess felt a crack in the universe. And thank you. I love you. <laughs> and she reached out to me just knowing something was wrong. And then I heard another person say, well, Something's wrong with Sandy because she gets quiet when she when something's wrong. And you were right. You were exactly right. So for anybody that I have tried to reach out to, I'm not just trying to be totally sad and pitiful here, but I have no other choice. He was my reason I got up for a lot of years. The, the reason I got out of bed, really. And uh, so anyway, I'm sorry I haven't already told you. And two, for anybody that it seems like I've just been a little extra creepy trying to meet up or whatever. I wasn't just trying to be extra creepy. I just needed to get away from this house. Uh, because everything I look at is Goliath. It's This chair I'm sitting in was his recliner. The left seat in the sunroom was, is Goliath's. The whole house, where whatever he wanted, he had a bed in every room. I made him a pallet or a bed in every room with old blankets and t-shirts and stuff. And uh, two, I could tell when I walked through and he, I'm sorry it's so dark, but I'm trying to keep what my face looks like a little hidden. <laughs> uh, I do plan on trying to get back up and do some more videos and everything. And again, I'm sorry uh, that I haven't told you, especially the three or four or five that are constantly asking about him. And I haven't even said anything. And I just couldn't. And I'm sorry. And I love y'all. Thank you for listening. 
This is CND. Today is Saturday, August 21st, 2021, 11.21 in the morning. And uh, I just wanted to finally go on here and say, tell everybody what's going on. Why I haven't been around much. Uh, for anybody with uh, Christmas and July fairies that I haven't gotten any to, anything to yet, or any of my giveaways, it's coming. Just please give me a minute. Uh, it's all together, sort of. <laughs> just can't get it to the post office for some reason. But my heart has just been so crushed that this is why. And, and it's just hard to do anything. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for loving him, too. And um, I will hope to see you soon. I guess the whole, only thing, the main thing that makes it the e any easier, if at all possible, is the fact that I feel like he went peacefully. And he, he wasn't choking or... or anything bad he he w went to sleep on his couch and that was all i love you all hope you have a good weekend wasn't trying to be total downer here but i had to finally say it i still if it's still hard to say it out loud but um i had to let you know and i'm sorry i haven't already but anyway love y'all See you next time, hopefully with a brighter, shinier face. <laughs> Love you.